हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 11.1 नाउ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव फाइंड द रूल व्हिच गिव्स द नंबर ऑफ मैस्टिक्स रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक द फॉलोइंग मैस्टिक पैटर्न्स यूज अ वेरिएबल टू राइट द रूल सो हियर क्वेश्चन सेज दैट फाइंड द रूल व्हिच गिव्स अस द नंबर ऑफ मैस्टिक्स रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक द फॉलोइंग मैस्टिक पैटर्न सपोज हियर से I have taken L, in which two mastics are used. Now we have to find that how many mastics are required if there are say any fifteen Ls or sixteen Ls. So in one L, what we have seen that two mastics are used, right? Now in this way, well, suppose if I take one more L, then it will be 4 if i take one more l then it will be 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so here one pattern is formed see here uh, first at first we have uh, when i have taken one l that time mastics are used two when i have taken two l mastics are used four when i have taken three l that time mastics are used six so here in in every time it is increasing by 2 now suppose if there are say 10 l if the uh, suppose number of l is n then the rule will be 2 into n so here 2 is the number of mastics uh, required in one alphabet and n is the number of l if there are say 10 l then 2 into 10 it will be 20 l Twenty mastics are used in ten Ls. Okay, so suppose here, uh, so this is uh, this two N is for only this letter. Now, if I take uh, suppose uh, this uh, triangle, if I take, see here, three mastics are used to make one triangle, right? So that means, uh, so what will be the rule here? It will be three N. Why? Because three is the number of mastics used in one triangle, and n is the number of triangle we need to form. Suppose, uh, like, um, if we need to, uh, if we need to find uh, the mastics of say fifteen triangles, fifteen triangles like this. Suppose that number of triangles are fifteen. So, how many mastics? Uh, how many mastics are required to form fifteen triangle? It will be three into fifteen. Which is forty-five. That means uh, in every time this is called uh, this this is called variable. This value varies. Okay, it is not fixed. Every time it is changing. Like here, here I have taken two. Here I have taken fifteen. So it changes. Very uh, the value of the variable uh, always changes. So here, uh, whenever you are, you will have to take the letter, you have to con uh, first you have to check that how many mastics are used in one particular alphabet, okay? And uh, with that, how many like how many number of letters you need? So here, if here three L's, then three into three, total nine. If if there is suppose uh, if there is uh, suppose three L's then three into two. If there is suppose five L's then five into two. Okay. So in the first part of this question uh, we have a pattern of letter T. So here we can see that two mastics are used. One here, one two. Two mastics are used to form a letter T. So the value will be so the rule of for writing T will be. 2 into n. Here n is the number of t we need, and 2 is the number of mastics in one alphabet. Now coming to the next part, a pattern of letter Z. So in Z letter, see 1, 2, 3. So three mastics are used in one Z in one alphabet. So it will be three, and n is the number of Z. If if uh, suppose if we need to find the number of mastics say in fifteen uh, Z, then it will be three into fifteen, which is forty five. Now coming to the next part, a pattern of letter U. Here we can see that here one, two, three, three mastics are used to uh, form U. 
that means it will be 3n. 3 is the number of mastics in one alphabet and n is the number of u. Now next a pattern of letter v. Here we have seen that 1, 2. 2 mastics are used to form this alphabet. So it will be 2 into n. So 2 is the number of mastics in one alphabet and n is the number of v we have. Suppose a pattern of letter E in the next one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 total 5 mastics are used in one letter, one alphabet. So it will be 5 into n. 5 is the number of mastics in one alphabet and n is the number of E. Now, in the next one, we have S. So, in this S, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Total 5 mastics are used to form S. So, it will be 5 into N. 5 is the number of mastic in one alphabet and N is the number of uh, S we have. Now, in the last part, a pattern of letter A. So, here we can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Total 6 mastics are used in this particular alphabet. So it will be 6 into n. So 6 is the number of mastic in one alphabet and n is the number of a we have. So in this way we, we, we can find the number of mastics in any. So n is the, num n is the variable over here. So, n can be anything, 1, 2, 3, 15, anything, n can be anything. Uh, so, this, that's why this is called variable. So, this way we will be doing question number 1. Thank you students.